Hello guys, welcome back to the Civil 3D tutorial. On this one, we're going to see how to extract different objects from your tin model. Alright, so just get back to your uh, tin model and if you don't have the exercise file, just get the exercise file link from uh, any of those uh, videos you can find in the description box or uh, just uh, comment on it or send me an email. I'll get this one sorted. Alright, so once you get your surface on um, onto your screen, so what you see is what you get so that is how the extraction works so right now it has got contours and it's let's say it's a 5 meter interval contours you select it and on the header the ribbon changes to tin surface that you're going to work on which is going to be this particular surface under the surface tools there is an option that says extract from surface so you can click on it and then you can click on extract objects so once you are here you got two options you can extract all the major contours or all the minor contours which you have seen in another tutorial uh, or you can uh, say that i just want the major but not all of them i will pick from the drawing so you can select on it and then you can click on this button up here and then it takes you to the drawing and then you can pick one of the major contours and then press enter click ok and that extracts the major contour okay so I have turned on the selection cycle. The keyboard shortcut is Control W. Okay, so if you want to extract, let's say, triangles. So select your um, surface, go to surface properties. First, change your surface style to a triangulation style. Click on OK, and then click on extract from surface. Go to extract objects. Now you will see triangles. And then you can go and pick one particular triangle, or you can get all the triangles. All right. So now, um, the another thing that you can also do is you can select your surface, select your surface, and then go to surface properties, and uh, you see like there are a whole bunch of different styles, and um, you can you can select them, and then you can extract data uh, based on the selection, uh, based on the surface style that you have selected. Okay, so what if I do these kind of uh, extraction quite often and I don't want to switch between different styles. So what you can actually do is pick any of those styles and um, click on this little button up here, click on the drop down and then click on copy current selection and then uh, create a surface style, call it as surface extraction style, give it a description if you want to and then uh, you can pretty much go and turn on everything that you generally want to extract. Um, let's say we got points and uh, if you want to change something on the points you can change it, the point style, anything that you want to change it you can do it and uh, triangles and any of these settings that you want to change it you can do it and then finally go to display and then you see that's your points, that's your triangles, borders and then uh, use a control, grid, direction, elevation and slope. What you can also do is sometimes if you want these one to be extracted to a particular color uh, things like that then you can actually map them to individual layers so once you set this style you can go and change the colors that you want uh, directly on the layers and then you can extract them okay so once you have done this one click ok click ok so this is going to be very very crowded so that means we have turned on everything on the tin surface now select your surface and then go to your surface tools extract and then extract objects so now if you see, it gives you every option that you can extract from the surface. You can extract points, triangles, borders, major contour, minor, everything that you can extract. Okay. So that concludes our uh, topic on extracting objects from surface. Uh, so we will see a little bit more about um, some of the hidden tricks that you can also try. And uh, just uh, let me know if you need any specific topic, guys. Thank you.